What's going on? What's happening, fellas? Let's get right into it. So today, we are going to talk about how body game is a lifelong game. All right, guys, it is a lifelong game. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is that body game is not just for women. All right, body game is not all about women. All right, guys, this is something that you're going to be doing for your whole life. If every single woman on this planet disappeared, if the female species was no longer here, body game would still be a thing. All right, fellas, you will be still practicing body game because there are way more other benefits, way more other benefits than women when it comes to body game. Now, guys, it's the mindset that you need to have. All right, fellas, and the reason why is because when you focus only on women and the only sole purpose for you practicing body game and building a physique is just for women, it's dangerous, all right, guys, because when you actually get the woman, this is what happens to a lot of men, fellas, when they put women on a pedestal, the only reason why they self-develop is to get a chick. Now, guys, I understand the benefits when it comes to women. I understand the choosing signals. I understand the attraction. To be honest, I love it myself. I'm not going to lie. I can't be a hypocrite. But if your only purpose for practicing body game is to get women, guys, it's going to end bad because most guys, they practice body game get the woman, but then when they get into the relationship, but then when they get comfortable with the chick, they stop practicing body game. They stop going to the gym. All right, guys? And then they get complacent, and then they lose attraction, and the woman lose respect because she sees him being lazy. Now he eating chips and donuts all the time instead of going to the gym. All right, it happens all the time. And this is when you put women first when it comes to the reasons why you practice in body game. You know, when it comes to this whole complacency thing, the best example I can give you is like when a star college player, star college football player ends up going to the NFL and his biggest dream and his only dream was going to the NFL. Now, when most guys have this mindset, they end up going to the NFL and they end up becoming busts. Like they end up not being as good as everybody anticipated because their biggest goal and the only reason why they were working hard at college was to get to the NFL. They already got their dream, you know, so they stopped working versus the guy where his main dream and his biggest goal was to win a Super Bowl. So when he gets to the NFL, he don't stop working. That's just a byproduct of his main goal. All right, guys. So when I say byproduct, women are just a byproduct of the main goal. And that's you being a top tier man and living a fulfilled life. Women are only one facet to the whole picture. All right, guys, it's a big picture. Body game is way bigger than a lot of guys think. All right, fellas, yes, women are going to be drooling over you guys when you chisel and you got a great physique. But at the same time, that shouldn't be your only goal. Because the crazy thing about this stuff, man, and what a lot of people got to realize is it's way easier to lose body game than it is to get it. It takes right, guys. years to build a great physique, an overall great physique. Now, if you just want to get some big arms or you just want a big chest, gee, you just need like a solid six months to a year. You just go hard on one body part. But if you want a well-rounded physique to where you look good in any type of clothing, it's going to take a while. But just like anything, it's way quicker to lose it than it is to get it. All right. It takes men years to be successful, years to become millionaires. But with one false move, all right, take P. Diddy, for example. But one false move, well, many false moves over time when it comes to P. Diddy. But guys, you get my point. One mistake, all right, one bad decision can ruin all those years of success. Now, it's not as drastic when it comes to body game, so it may take a few months for you to actually lose your physique, but compare a few months versus the few years that it actually took you to get it. This is why you got to keep practicing. It's a lifelong thing. It's a daily it's thing. It's way easier to lose it, bro. Like, you don't own your body. Like, it's your body. It's yours. You take it wherever you go. Yeah, it's yours, but you don't own your physique. That great physique that you build, the body game that you build, you don't own it. That shit is on rent. All right, guys, because if you don't keep paying, <laughs> you're going to lose it. You don't own it. You don't, like, get a great physique and then you stop working. All right, guys, it's a never-ending thing, never-ending thing. You may get to a point, and I use this example on one of my recent coaching calls. You may get to a point where you get to that level, and then now you, you get to the point where you just maintain it. You know, instead of six or seven days a week, you got to the point where you only got to put in four days a week because you got the muscle maturity and muscle density to be able to not slack, but not work out as hard and as much because you're already at that level. That's reality. But you still got to keep maintaining. All right, guys, you got to keep the momentum This is going. why it's a lifelong game. This is why body game is a lifelong game. The older you get, the better body game works for you. All right. A lot of young guys, 20, 21, 22, they'd be like, bro, I got this Jack physique, man. I look good, but I'm not really getting any looks. 
Bro, the reality is when you're young, you kind of expect it to have body game. Like when I see a 25-year-old and he don't have body game, I'm like, bro, you got the best genetics that you're going to ever have in your life. You got the highest testosterone. You got the most energy, the most strength that you will ever have. You need to be using it, G. So when I see a young kid with body game, I will applaud him. You know what I'm saying? And I will commend him. But at the same time, I'm like, gee, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be on it. But when you're older, first, you're going to get attraction from all age ranges when you got body game. Because you're going to stand out as an older man. Because older men, especially over the age of 40, are not expected to have body game. I know it's an expectation for men for be, to be the best versions of themselves. But in society, most 40-year-old and up men, you see, they're out of shape. They're fat. They got dad bods or either they're really overweight. All right, so when you in shape 40 year old with some grays in your beard, gee, you're going to stand out and you're going to be very attractive because that's a sign of dedication because it's rare. All right, guys, and to still be putting in work, practicing body game at that age, gee, that shows a lot. All right, guys, so you're going to get a lot of choosing signals. And I'm just telling you from what I see. All right, guys, when I see older men who like it's clear that they're older, they got grays, they got the older facial features, but they practice body game, G, it's a level of authority that they have versus a 21-year-old man that has body game. It's kind of different, you know, it's a different dynamic when it comes to women. All right, guys, it's a different presence, you know? So, fellas, it's a lifelong game. You never stop practicing fellas, body game. Never stop practicing body game, G, it's a lifelong thing, you know? And I think the biggest thing about all this, bro, is don't make it all about women. You know, don't make it all about women. Just understand that women is going to be part of it. You know, it's like when you're chasing your purpose. If you make your purpose only about money, you're going to do a lot of dumb shit and you're going to make a lot of bad decisions and a lot of quick decisions and like decisions that you haven't actually thought about because it's only about money and that's the main focus versus it's being about everything that your business can do and the lifestyle that your business is going to bring and just it simply being your mission and purpose. You're going to be more logical and rational and then your business is going to last longer. It's going to be more efficient, okay? But when you just focus on the money first, just like if you just focus on the women first for the body game, you're going to make a lot of quick decisions, you know, and you're going to slack up when you finally get the money or you get the woman, all right, fellas? So it's a lifelong thing. It's about what's priority and understanding that certain things are only byproducts of it, all right, guys? So it's your boy KD, man. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to grab my free testosterone booster guide. There's 13 ways to naturally boost your testosterone, fellas. Link is in the description. Also, if you have not grabbed any of my signature fragrances, a link is also in the description, thetoptiermen.com. You guys go check that out today. It's your boy KD. We out of here, baby.